So let's look at this question. This is a simple but a slightly tricky question, right? So this says the following C program is executed on a Unix or a Linux system. It says hash include unistd int main int i for i equals to 0, i less than 10, right? So this is what we have, right? So from 0 up to 9, right? So this is what this loop runs into. If i percentile 0, i percentile 2 equals to 0, which means for all even numbers. What are even numbers we have? 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8, right? Only, only when i equals to these values, I'll execute my fork, right? So I'll execute my fork here. So how many times has the fork been called? This fork has been called five times, right? This fork has been called five times. Now it says return zero. Now the question here is the total number of child processes created. Okay, very important, very interesting question. The keyword here is the number of child processes. We have seen, we have seen just, just in the one of the previous examples here, look at this. We have seen here, uh, where is this example where we have seen, okay. So here we have seen that when I have two processes, right, I created two, two square total number of processes, right. When I have n forks, right, if I have two forks, I created two square processes. Here I mentioned that if I have n forks, I create two power n processes, right. So let's, so here I have five forks. So I have a total of two power five processes. Now this is where many people will fall into the trap. While there are two power five processes, the first process that executed, look at this, the very first process is the parent process of all the other child processes. Because the first process which started, even in this example, even in this example, P1 is the parent. P1 is the parent process. P2, P3, P4 are all child processes now, right? So here that small twist here is the number of child processes. The total number of processes is 32, but the number of child processes is 2 power 5 minus 1, which is equal to 31. So the right answer here is 31. The question is very simple. This is where many people will make a simple silly mistake and we have to be careful about that.